Hello everybody and welcome uh, uh, again uh, to the highlights of the European Ski Orienteering Championship in Obertilia, Austria, East Tyrol, in very uh, great uh, winter conditions, uh, sunny uh, weather, uh, uh, temperatures uh, pretty low and uh, very good uh, conditions for uh, great race uh, was on Friday. Now the close up uh, at the start line of um, Alona Trapeznikova of Russia. Uh, Gold medalist here in Obertiliak in mixed relay and silver uh, in uh, middle uh, course. Now we saw uh, Trapeznikova will start as one of the favorites, one of the big favorites in uh, today's uh, long course. Uh, well, uh, after the start, uh, the the co contesters uh, will try to go through the tunnel and uh, now the again uh, close uh, uh, close up for last year a uh, long course champion in a um, long distance Tatiana Oborina another Russian already uh, to defend her uh, her title uh, which uh, could be very hard task because in very good shape uh, right now are the uh, compatriots Trapeznikova and Maria uh, Ketchkin and for sure uh, Tuve Alexanderson, uh, sprint uh, gold medalist here in uh, Obertiliach but a little little was uh, um, uh, was failed in the middle course uh, where uh, she finishes in the second position also second place in mixed sprint relay now starting very very um, uh, in uh, full field uh, with energy and trying to uh, get another gold here in Obertilia. The backside uh, close up still from Tuve Alexanderson of Sweden, uh, the new uh, this season World Cup winner. And this race uh, will not decide nothing for Tuve Alexanderson in World Cup standings. And again, uh, uh, one um, another uh, good racer from Czech Republic, Hanna Hanchikova, uh, was just outside the podium in a fourth place in the middle distance uh, two years ago and probably will be a contender also here in the long distance and now the middle distance uh, European uh, champion Maria Ketchkina from Russia in interview after the uh, great middle distance uh, she told that uh, before the competition was focused more on the long distance let's see what happens the start uh, pretty carefully will be made by Marina Ketchkina from Russia and the race and the fight are just started here in Obertilech now the shots beautiful shots uh, from the narrow tracks by made by a ski camera and look a pretty uh, pretty steep uh, descent and the skiers could be uh, must be very carefully now to Alexanderson also on uh, narrow tracks uh, the speed are uh, pretty well the course are uh, maybe not so hard uh, in those narrow tracks but we see that the two racers uh, must be really 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 careful in those uh, careful at that uh, uh, descendings made those descents in those narrow tracks very beautiful location here in that forest but uh, for the uh, girls it's no time to enjoy uh, the nature now uh, also the backside ski camera shot uh, by uh, Czech Republic Hanna Hanchikova trying passing the control uh, not spending a lot of time and look this is uh, the first critical uh, uh, critical uh, GPS uh, tracking here uh, where you see that uh, the uh, they are spreading uh, you know on the ro route choice uh, for the uh, contenders not uh, much spreading but uh, you s we see that the two Alexanderson will uh, and Han Hanchikova and Tatiana Oborina uh, chooses that longer but uh, probably faster mm, faster route choice uh, but we already could see that Maria Ketchkina uh, are uh, uh, now uh, uh, pretty uh, pretty taking pretty good lead in uh, after that route choice that means uh, that probably will be the right decision for her and now the arena passage and uh, Alena Trapeznikova uh, passed arena uh, with new leading time uh, more than five minutes uh, ahead of uh, Anna Olvenson from Norway Silver medalist in middle course and gold winner here in mixed sprint relay. Then uh, to Alexanderson, which uh, also uh, showed the good speed, uh, but trails uh, to Trapeznikova nearly one minute, 58 seconds behind Arena Passage. Then 
The second loop of uh, long distance are a little smaller and mostly are going on this open field area and the GPS tracking now from uh, that second part of the race uh, to Alexanderson they uh, are losing a time uh, against the leaders uh, uh, against Maria Kechkina and also uh, Alexandra um, uh, uh, Alyona Trapeznikova lose a little seconds uh, she was in lead against after uh, that um, map change uh, he uh, she gets eight uh, second leads over uh, Maria Kechkina, but uh, Maria Kechkina, after that small mistake of uh, Alona Trapeznikova in the second loop, will take the lead and now are uh, uh, ready uh, to go to the finish and probably it will be the second goal in a few days here in Obertiliach. Alona Trapeznikova finishes in the best with the best time at the moment, seven minutes ahead of Anna Ulvensen, but then comes to Alexanderson and it's already clear that Alexanderson are losing time against uh, Alona Trapeznikova and we are all waiting for Maria Kechkina, uh, which was in lead in a second uh, part of the course and now Maria uh, Kechkina are uh, closing to the last control I'll, and still have one minute and a little more reserve against compatriot Alyona Trapeznikova and this is the finish double gold for Maria Kechkina from Russia in Obertiliach today in long course Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're still on the live coverage from the European Ski Orientating Championship here in Austria in Obertilach and uh, second uh, competition, second race in a row, we have the same gold medal winner in the women competition, Maria Kechkina from Russia, are again fulfilling her dream, get to the gold medal podium uh, this year in long course. Maria, поздравляю! Uh, Мы говорили уже с тобой, ну ты как бы сказала, что все-таки вот длинная дистанция была твоя, 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 это твоя мечта, и что то, то, к кому ты готовилась, да? Но вот как ты нашла все-таки эти силы, потому что это так трудно выиграть что-то и потом еще раз как-то. Мне действительно было очень тяжело сегодня, потому что предыдущая победа оставила свой отпечаток. Я очень долго собиралась с эмоциями, в общем, с мыслями и допустила несколько ошибок. Но, тем не менее, мне удалось заработать дистанцию до конца. И думаю, это мне сегодня помогло. Try to get back clearly again to the to the next course uh, to be fresh uh, to fight again and somehow finally in the course it it it, it happened. Uh, Maria, там ну когда перед после первого круга ну Алена была впереди, ты знаешь, да? Там восемь секунд ты как бы была сзади, да? Ты уступала, ну ты ты знаешь что там произошло как как это это значит что тогда больше ты там не, не было ошибок больше да а, нет я единственное видела как то финишировала а я в это время меняла карту это меня немного отвлекло но тем не менее я собралась с мыслями и сказала себе что надо дистанцию доработать до конца вот на максимуме и там я уже не допустила ни одной ошибки максимум концентрации и думаю что это мне помогло what? Выиграть в итоге у моих соперниц. While uh, changing the map, uh, uh, Maria uh, noticed that Uwe Alexanderson already finished at that moment, uh, lost a little concentration, but then get back to the track and it, uh, to the very end. And uh, well, uh, congratulations, Maria, once again. And самое uh, самое uh, последнее. Ну а что дальше? Дальше эстафета у нас еще впереди. Мы все-таки ставим большие ну, ставки на этот вид программы. И подготовка к следующему году к чемпионату мира в Красноярске. Поздравляю. Uh, well, and the next uh, for Maria and uh, for uh, Russian team is the relay for sure. Uh, they must uh, fight also for the gold and the next year for the world championship in Russia in Красноярск. Thank you very much, Maria. And now let's take a look on final standings of today's long distance. Maria Kechkin, a gold medalist here. Alyona Trapeznikova, compatriot, won the silver one minute behind and one minute and 24 seconds to leader, uh, to winner, uh, lose to Alexanderson from Sweden, which earns fourth medal of this tournament uh, till now.